Are you looking for a way to make fresh, tasty donuts that will be better than what's offered at a local Krispy Kreme? Then look no more. Er, um, I mean, keep looking and watch as we show you step by step how to make your very own tasty donuts right in your own kitchen. First, let's make sure the yeast is potent. Nothing worse than yeast that doesn't rise. So start with one cup of milk at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and add two and a half teaspoons or one package of active dry yeast and one teaspoon of sugar. Stir it up till mixed and then let it sit for 10 minutes until it's foamy. If it's not foamy, then the milk wasn't the right temperature or the yeast is too old. So try again. Once the yeast is foamy, add a quarter cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, a quarter cup of melted butter, and two cups of flour. Mix on a low speed until well combined. Then begin to gradually add one extra cup of flour till the dough is no longer sticking to the bowl. Increase the speed slightly and let it knead for five more minutes. Place the now kneaded dough in a pre-greased bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Let it sit for at least one hour until the dough has roughly doubled in size. Now take the dough and dump it out onto a floured surface. Smack it down and roll it out to about a half inch thickness. It's best to cut out about 10 to 12 donuts using a three inch round cutter and a one inch round cutter to remove the center. But I didn't have one of those, so I did the best that I could with what I had. With the leftover dough, knead it for a little, re-roll it, and cut it out for more donuts. Transfer the donuts and donut holes to a lightly floured parchment paper and cover loosely with greased plastic wrap. Let the donuts rise until close to double in volume, or about 30 minutes. Reheat the air fryer to deep fat fry. Deep fat fry. With. Okay, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Spray the air fryer basket with cooking spray. Then transfer the donuts to the air fryer basket in a single layer. Spray the tops of the donuts with cooking spray as well and cook at 350 degrees for about 4 minutes until golden brown. And then flip over to do another 4 minutes on the other side. If you don't have this awesome Aki air fryer, then what are you waiting for? Get a 20% discount with my code in the link in the description. But seriously, if you don't have an air fryer, you can also put them in the oven at 375 degrees and check on them periodically till they're done to your likeness. Now that your first donuts are cooked, repeat the same process with your remaining donuts and holes you have. While the donuts are cooking, let's go ahead and make a tasty icing. We're going to melt 6 tablespoons of butter in a small saucepan over medium heat. Then stir in 2 cups of powdered sugar and 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract until smooth. Remove it from the heat and stir in hot water 1 tablespoon at a time until the icing is somewhat thin but not watery. Set aside for dipping or spraying over the donuts to your liking. How good are these compared to using an oven or from the bakery itself? Let's see what my kids think. How are these? The donut holes. The donut itself really is not that sweet. The way you describe it? I feel like it's like bread with glaze on it. I think it's good. It tastes homemade. The glaze yeah, doesn't very taste much. like the one you get from the shop. Crispy creams. Super sweet. As it is, not as sweet as the donuts you'd find at a shop. Like Crispy creams are like this other place where they have really sweet donuts. I think that's better to not be as sweet. And that's what I think and too. And it's light and airy. It has good texture. I'd say it's not as messy too. The frosting is the glaze part. You know, it gets really sticky and comes off. But my fingers aren't that bad. I find some of the dumb places I've been to where like the frosting gets all over your hands. I really like how chewy these ones are. How it looks, it looks almost exactly like bread. It's the thing with donuts, all right? It tastes like the donut hole. <laughs> That's it's mine was chewier than the donut hole though, because this one's much thicker. Is there more dense possibly? Tastes good. These are hot. The inside is still pretty soft like these. Honestly, like the inside of these two is basically the same. This it's just on the outside is a little texture. crispier. This kind of tastes like the homemade pizza dough you make. Like the crust of the pizza. That's all. I was thinking of how to describe it. I think I like these softer ones better than these harder ones. You like a well done flavor. Then you like this one. They're not nearly as sweet as an actual donut store. These seem healthier. <laughs> 
The guy I was on the donuts at the store are just too sweet for me. Like Krispy Kreme people love it. For me, it's just like too much sugar, too sweet. Donut stores are overly sweet, and this can be a bit overly sweet, cool. But, but it's better. What goes well with donuts, you ask? My next video.